Hi, this is Emily, and today I am finishing up week six. So um, I am done with the Eat to Live six week plan, and isn't that great? I've made it through the whole thing. <laughs> And um, so this will be the last video I make uh, documenting weekly what I'm doing for this plan. So I just wanted to wrap it up with uh, showing you my results and um, whether or not I'm going to continue on Eat to Live and any other thoughts I have. Okay, so I'm super excited that the six weeks is up. I made it. I was able to get through it. And you know what? It was pretty darn easy. <laughs> so it's easy when you're seeing results. You know what I mean? If you're struggling and you can't get the results you're looking for, it's going to be really hard. But if you're seeing some results, suddenly it's easy. So, um, okay. So I wanted to talk about my changes that I feel in my body. Um, I noticed this week, during week six, I really felt like I'm starting to see more differences um, in my physique. I started to notice that my belly, while it's still very big, it's starting to feel um, a little bit smaller. Um, just when I look at my side profile, I do see that it looks just a smidgen smaller. Um, I've talked about how I have a lot of fat that sits on my back, and that seems to be, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there is coming off. Uh, my butt, my thighs, they're just very slowly losing some weight. And then, um, but this week especially, I noticed my arms when I'm wearing like a short sleeve shirt and say I look in the mirror or when I'm at work, I, there's lots of windows and I can see my reflection in them and I will see like my arms and stuff and I'm like, wow, my arms are getting smaller. <laughs> and that means a lot to me because for whatever weird reason, I've always been kind of self-conscious about my arms more than anything else. I don't know what it is. I have like this aversion to my arms being big. Like why my arms? I don't know, but I'm starting to see that uh, change. And I'm also starting to notice like I can, I can feel in my upper chest, I have bones in there. Like, really? I can feel that. I can feel where my arm is connected to my shoulder and my chest. I'm starting to notice things that when I was a little bit heavier, I did not notice at all. But now I just very, very slowly am starting to notice these things. And um, this week I also had a couple people mention to me, have you been losing weight? You know, like they can tell people are starting to notice um, more and more is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so that is so exciting. My clothes are starting to fit better. Um, I feel more comfortable in my work attire and in my everyday wear. I don't have to live in fear of, okay, I have this pair of shorts <laughs> in my hands. Is it going to fit, you know, while I'm about to put them on. Now I'm just like, put them on and yep, they fit <laughs> or oops, they're getting too big. So I don't know about anyone else. If you've been overweight, you may have the same problem where you're afraid to get dra dressed in the morning. Yeah, it is a problem because you're like, well, I don't know if this is going to fit me today. <laughs> You know, so it's such a relief to not be worrying about that constantly anymore. A weight has been lifting off my shoulders. Um, okay, so um, let's get down to the weight loss. I weighed myself actually yesterday. Um, I actually did a little experiment because I had a doctor's appointment for my annual physical. And 
while I was there, they weighed me, of course, against my will. No, <laughs> just kidding. But they weighed me. And then I came home and weighed myself just to see if there's a discrepancy. And it's off by like just a point of a pound or something, you know, hardly anything. So I thought that was interesting to know that our scales are pretty well matching up. But um, yeah, so I am down 18 pounds total for the six weeks and I couldn't be happier. Um, I had in my mind that I was hoping that I could lose anywhere from 15 to 25 pounds in the six weeks. So 18 pounds is right in that range. And so I, I am so happy about this. I can't even express how happy I am to be down 18 pounds and six, six weeks is a relatively short amount of time. And, um, it's a healthy weight loss because I'm not losing it too fast, but I'm not like only losing one pound every two months or something. So I'm very happy with this progress that I've made so far. Uh, so 18 pounds in six weeks, that is approximately three pounds per week if you wanted to break it down like that. But what I can, um, what I observed is um, from my point of view, just watching my body, um, I noticed a huge change in my weight the first week that I got on this <clears throat> diet uh, plan. I noticed like a huge change the first week that it was just like a bunch of the weight just kind of fell off of me during that week <laughs> and a weight was lifted off my shoulders and I felt better. I had more energy suddenly and I... I'm just guessing anytime you lose a bulk of weight, you're going to have more energy because you have less weight dragging you down, right? So I don't know. It just, I could feel it came, like a chunk came off, you know, <laughs> during that first week. And then I noticed from weeks two to five, the weight loss from my point of view seemed to kind of slow down during that time. And then it was during week six. So this last week, I really noticed that I released a lot more. Like, literally, it felt like to me, week one and week six were the most important. Um, because I am feeling so light and so energized this week. It just, it feels like it's really come off <laughs> in week one and week six. I just thought that was kind of interesting information to share. Um, but in reality, I did weigh myself uh, week one, week three, and then week six. And I do know that during week one was where I lost, so I've lost 18 pounds on this six weeks. Week one, I lost like half of it. Half of the weight came off during that first week. <laughs> and then weeks two and three, you know, I lost maybe a pound or two, you know, during each week, week two and week three. And then I'm not sure what happened during week four and five, but I just know that it felt like a lot more came off during week six. And I just kind of thought that was interesting because I haven't changed anything. And, um, and, you know, and I'm not perfect and I don't at all think that people should cheat on this, but there were a few instances that I talked about in my previous videos where um, when I got my new job, I ate out of a vending machine a couple times and uh, there was a weekend where I ate more of an oily dinner um, and I was kind of complaining about how during week one I was probably eating too many grains, um, and, you know, as stated in the diet, you're supposed to be limiting that to a certain degree. And so um, I'm not saying that people should um, cheat. What I'm saying is um, I'm not perfect and I'm able to still get some of this weight off. So, um, but my goal is to be as close to perfect as possible, knowing that humans were not perfect. But I would like to be improving on how, you know, what I'm eating. Okay, so um, 
so I'm going to move on to what is my future plan. So I want to focus on the G, G bombs. Sorry, it's hard for me to say that because my braces, but the G bombs, these are foods that you're supposed to focus on for eat to live. And here, here's what they stand for. Uh, greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds. So you have to, you're supposed to make sure that every day, no matter what, you're eating greens, you're eating beans, you're eating onions and mushrooms, berries, and seeds. So that's kind of the goal on this plan. And I have to say, I've not been perfect on that so far. I don't like mushrooms. And so when I do buy mushrooms and cook them, I end up giving most of that to my husband because he loves mushrooms. So, and I end up just eating a small portion of mushrooms and I'll have whatever else I've cooked, you know, cause mushrooms just, I don't know. I've never really liked mushrooms very much, but I can say that they're growing on me. And so I'm going to try to eat more of those. And, um, there are days when I don't eat enough beans because you're supposed to eat at least a cup a day of beans. And uh, there are some days where I have like half a cup and then I forget to eat the rest of them. And then I'm like, well, that's <laughs> that was silly. You know, so I'm going to pay more attention to the G-bombs now that um now that I've gotten through this initial six weeks, I have, that's one thing I want to really focus on. And, um, so am I going to stay on Eat to Live? Yes. <laughs> am I going to do the six week plan still? Of course. Why would I change anything? This is working for me and I'm happy doing this. So I'm going to stay on the six week plan for Eat to Live. I'm going to keep doing this until all the weight is off. Um, I can't think of any reason why I would go off of it because it's working for me and I still have things that I want to work on to, um, make sure I'm doing everything correctly on this. So yes, I'm going to continue working on this and I'm going to continue, uh, the six week plan, especially, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I just wanted to mention that he, that Joel Furman wrote a more updated book on losing weight and um, I still need to read that. But from what I hear in the uh, Facebook group for Eat to Live, there have been a few changes to the diet. Not a ton, but just a little bit of tweaking um, to aid in weight loss. And so I'll probably be talking about that at some point. And so, uh, back to the weight loss. So how much have I lost this year? I have lost in 2014 at this point, I have lost 37 pounds. So I am getting closer and closer to 40 pounds off <laughs> and then it'll be 50 pounds and 60 pounds. And, um, it's going to take me a while before I will be no longer considered obese, but that's my first goal is, uh, well, actually it's my second goal, um, is to no longer be obese anymore. So that is going to wrap up this video. And I just want to briefly explain my next video that I will probably record in the next few days is all about how am I able to stay motivated even after going through a year where I didn't lose any weight on a plant-based diet, I yo-yoed and then I ended up gaining weight and how, with how frustrating that was, how was I able to stay on plant-based and how was I able to stay on an eating plan that clearly was not working well for me and, um, how I motivated myself to switch things up, try different things. And then I ultimately came to eat to live and this is really working the best for me so far. But I want to talk about what has motivated to stay on this through the frustrating times. How did I stay um, on this pursuit to lose weight and regain my health? So, uh, and I say regain my health because I did have high cholesterol. So, um, yeah, that's it. So that'll be my next video, kind of motivational video.
Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.